Prompting in mid-journey has changed recently, and I want to teach you how to get the most out of the new system. We used to write prompts using keywords, feelings, emotions, vibe. We use those words to trigger certain looks from the bot. And now, well, we have to do our best to explain those looks. And we have a lot more room for detail. The new meta will look something like this. Three magical characters sit together in a diner. There is a wizard on the left wearing a red robe, and he is in a bad mood. There is a witch seated in the middle. She wears golden armor and has a very happy expression on her face. Maybe not very happy, but you get the point. There is a wizard on the right dressed in blue robes. The wizard on the right has a small green dragon sitting on his shoulder. That's a lot to take in, but I want to thank Clarinet and the team over on Discord for documenting a lot of V6 prompting techniques. I'll leave a link to those threads in the description below, but I wanted to explain this new style of prompting in my own way. And if you're new here, my name is Nolan. It's my goal to make learning AI straightforward and user-friendly. Having said that, I think the sound of your version 6 prompt should be something like da-da, da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da, Da -da. Does that make sense? That's the rhythm I think you should be going for. And you can remember it using the name 242. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Da -da. Putting that rhythm into English will look something like this. Subject, setting, detail, 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 atmosphere, vibe, maybe emotion on the end. Let me show you this rhythm in some more examples and then I'll teach you how to develop it on your own. By the way, if you didn't know, you can access version 6 through this drop down menu in your settings. Or you can type dash dash v space 6 at the end of your prompts. Here's a good example of the rhythm. A rooftop garden at twilight. Da -da. Overgrown plants in mismatched pots, a rusty watering can, and a single dimly lit lantern. Da -da 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 -da. The city skyline in the distance contrasts with this small green oasis. Da -da. Are you feeling the rhythm? Can you see it? Can you hear it? A typical office cubicle in the late afternoon. Papers are stacked in small piles. A half-finished coffee cup sits beside a computer. The light from a nearby window casts long shadows across the desk outlining a scene of everyday work life. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da da An artist studios late at night. Canvases cluttered around, some half-painted, tubes of paint scattered. A single lamp casts a warm light, highlighting the creative chaos of artistic endeavor. Or maybe, an abandoned playground in the early foggy morning. A swing set and old slide with faded paint. The swing set is red, the slide is blue. The mist wraps the scene in an eerie yet nostalgic ambiance. What are you thinking so far? Pretty cool, right? Now let me say, you don't have to prompt like this. It's not completely necessary. But if you want to learn how to prompt like this, I have a five-step process for you to practice. Number one, start small. Write the prompt how you would have before. Write with commas and be prepared for some strange images. Like here, I was thinking of something like astronaut, thunderstorm, space exploration. And these aren't exactly what I wanted, but when you try this, I want you to make a note of how these images differ from your expectations. That's the key. Step number two, we're going to prompt those expectations into the generation. Or you could say, insert those expectations into the prompt. So in my mind, I was thinking a female astronaut standing outside a space station, thunderstorm in space. I like number three a lot, but this still isn't quite what I was going for. So we're going to repeat what we did in step one. We're going to make a note of how these images differ from our expectations. And then once again, we're going to insert those expectations into the prompt. But here is the big thing that will get you closer to the meta. We are going to speak in a natural language by using step three. And step number three is to dry off the prompt. That's what I'm calling it. Rather than explaining the picture, we're going to rewrite it as if we're giving instructions. A very dry map of what we want. There is a female astronaut outside of the International Space Station. The station is in orbit of an alien planet. The astronaut's suit is black and gold. There is a galactic thunderstorm raining on the station. 
and look at these. Way different, way more of what I had in my mind. And it just took a couple steps of this process in order to get there. But we're not quite done. You'll notice that this doesn't exactly follow the 242 formula. This is considered a safe formula. You want to write an opening statement that describes your scene from a high level. Then for each detail you add, you're going to call back to the words you used in your setup. Like here, the station, a callback to the International Space Station. The astronaut suit, the female astronaut we mentioned in the opening statement. There is a galactic thunderstorm raining on the station, the space station from our first point. Are you with me? There's still a few more things we can do, but if you've learned something so far, please leave a like on this video so we can share it with more people. I need your help. Thanks. And I wanted to let you know that I created a two-page free PDF for you to download. This will act as a good reminder of the 242 rhythm, with plenty of examples of details that you could include in your prompts. I'll leave the link in the description below. This is where I want to point out that I think it's okay to switch to using periods rather than commas. Truth be told, it does not make that big of a difference to the bot, but it will make a big difference to your brain as you're writing it. Here's the prompt with periods, and here's the prompt with commas. Same thing, give or take a small percentage. Now we're moving on to step number four, and this is where I want you to add feelings, emotion, vibe, atmosphere to the end of your prompts. Like dreadful, scary, dangerous. In all honesty, I like to use commas at this point. I don't think it really matters whether you spice it up with poetry. Short words and commas I found work well at the end of a prompt. And now we're moving on to step number five, the last step of the process of crafting a new meta prompt. I want you to go beyond your original vision. And the way I want you to do that is to lock in your original vision and build from there. I'm going to keep 90% of it the same, but then I'm going to add something at the beginning like 1980s film screenshot. I'll mention that the black and gold suit is intricate with ornate details, or I'll mention that it's a burning galactic thunderstorm. You'll have a lot of extra room to insert new details, and that's how we're going to expand our vision. Maybe I'll throw in the word monochrome at the beginning of the prompt, and we'll get something like these. I love number one, number four is amazing. But you know what? I wasn't quite happy with the images I was getting. So first, I removed the word burning from galactic thunderstorm, and then I changed up the vibe. At the end, I wrote quite simply, the vibe is calm, serene, and peaceful. I thought that would be a good dichotomy between that and the rest of the prompt. And I think we're getting somewhere. Here I took out the reference to a 1980s movie, and the generation changes even more as we try to hone in on what we're really looking for. I also think you should strongly consider using parameters like stylize and chaos in your prompts. Here's stylize 900 and chaos 3. That chaos is a good value, but 900 might be a little high. You can go from 0 to 1000, 100 is the default for stylize. So yeah, maybe 900 is a little much. You could drop it to 500, and I like these a lot, I think number 3 is gorgeous. Or maybe drop it all the way to 250. Like, look at number 2 here, like that's, that's amazing, that is honestly the type of vibe I was going for from the beginning. But maybe parameters weren't the issue. Maybe you just needed a phrase like wide angle establishing shot. To bring it back to the rhythm of a 242, wide angle female astronaut outside of International Space Station, da da. The station is in orbit of an alien planet. The astronaut suit is black and gold with intricate ornate details. There is a galactic thunderstorm raining on the station, da 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 da. The vibe is calm, serene, peaceful, da da. Does that make a little more sense now? I have a lot more tips and tutorials for you. Subscribe so you don't miss out. If you're a beginner and you want a much larger view of Mid Journey, you can check out this video here. I hope you're doing well. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.